The major scale has a format. Once you learn the format, you can play every major scale. That's the good thing. The bad thing is that the, the format isn't so easy right away. It works like this. It goes middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky, index, ring, pinky. Middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky, index, ring, pinky. So the C scale starts on a C, and you just do that pattern. The G scale would start on the G note, which is the third fret of the E, and it would work like this. The D scale would start on the fifth fret, so it would be like this. The A scale would start on the fifth fret of the E string. So now guys, just name any e. scale. What's that? E. E? A. A. F. F. Anything else? D. G sharp. D sharp. If you notice, the fingers never change. All that changes is the position where you start. Once you've got that, the scale is very simple. So, um, scales on guitar, the minor scale is probably more useful because that's where you get into your soloing, but this can help you a lot with your finger positioning, so it's definitely a good drill to start with. Thank you.